I get to mash my way through the buns. Hey everyone! Ha ha, enjoy! I mash my be way as through the bad for you because. Uh, I just watched you do some of it. Yeah, but also, uh, you haven't just been playing a game that has the wrong controls. There is no button like during this. Yeah, Quest. I was wondering that. Careful, everyone. Enjoy figuring out what the buttons are. Fuck. So hey everybody, we're back to Nino Kuni again. Welcome back to this game. Uh, it is actually perfectly fine. That's very game. Oh, my dying. Oh, you got a roll. You got a roll. You got a roll. Oh, I don't know what roll is. Oh man, you're so close to being dead. You need to somehow heal yourself. Oh no, that's not heal. No, nope. I think you need that to heal, go into heal? the. No, I don't think you have a heal. You Fuck. don't go into the thing. Oh <gasps> shit! This thing. This thing. This one. Uh, no. I meant the menu, but you can probably just finish the fight at this point. I don't want to go near them. Go on oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Cool. Oh Good man, job. I was not paying attention. I meant into the menu and you like got to give yourself a sore away. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, yeah, right. Let's do that now. Hmm. Menu? Yeah, yeah. You're good. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Oh, oh man, my insides aren't very happy with me. Oh dear. Do you need to take a... No, I'm okay. Okay. Garlicky dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Nino Kuni, we fought the bad guys. We did. I'm gonna run away from this grim chiller. Oh no, he's running away from me. Okay. I don't think he can jump up. I'm there. the big bad guy. Oh, he's coming <gasps> after you. He's coming after you. <laughs> I'm used to there being sprint buttons in Dragon Quest, so I keep looking for it. That's get fun. in there! Get in there! Oh, I was just going like trying to go in. Oh no, you have to push X to get in there. <laughs> Mm. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna go to the library, and uh, I think one of the things that, like, I emotionally want from this story is more story. You know, like mm. we're doing this thing where we're helping this lady get this thing, and it's like it's not that dramatic. It's it's questy, not story. Um, Although you know those can be intertwined. And it's... even like the story itself, like we've had like. A couple of tiny glimpses of really interesting story. Mm. But they're like, it's so long between that stuff happening. I think you're going the wrong way. Mm. Um, Is that it there? Yeah, it's in there. <gasps> Thanks. Like, oh, great. A very exciting quest to get a library card. I don't remember why we're doing this. Well, did you bring me Stony Wony Woo? Oh, I can tell I don't have it. I, I, no, I'm done with this quest. Yeah. We hand her the stone. Mm, you got it you. back? You got it back? A beautiful, wonderful boy. Mmm, yes. <laughs> Your brother just shut his door like, no, I'm not I, I can't deal with you people. <laughs> Bright, so bright, shiny, 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 mm, blinding, so bright it hurts like a shiny, shiny star. My voice has changed. Really. <laughs> you did it, yes. Thought you'd make a terrible mess of everything. Thought you'd be slaughtered, <laughs> but you didn't, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Bodley. A deep red rose, a hot, hot horn, and a shiny, shiny, shiny stone. I had them all at last. I feel like she's going to do something super evil. It's time, my love, it's time. Mm -hmm. Time at last, at long, long last. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> time to make up the most marvellous makeup that's ever been made up. The luscious, lascivious, lustrous lipstick Bodley likes to call Gobsmear. Oh, no. That's the worst name for a lipstick ever. Gobsmear. Lipstick? Gobsmear. What the flip? Hang on a flippin' minute! You put us through all that for a new shade of flippin' lippy? Look, yes? I need it! Never know when a handsome young man might come along. Yes, I'll just pop it on. Oh no, is she gonna do one of those, yes. like, mm. like, turn around and then, like, luscious turn lips. back again with the luscious lips? Oh yes, oh, no. Oh. oh my gosh, I can't deal with this. Oh, oh hello. they look like glistening. You're right, you're right. That's actually pretty cool, impressive man. lipstick. I Go on. Back now, darling. Sorry to keep you waiting. Dee -hee. 
Imagine if, like, she's actually like, oh, look at Tani. <laughs> look at Tani. <laughs> Beautiful, yes. Pretty, pretty. Uh, um. Mm. Yes? Um. Yes, very pretty. <laughs> um. I have it at last, my lovely, lovely lipstick. I am pretty again. Beautiful, ravishing, yes. All thanks to you. Imagine if, like, she was actually, like, a massive thought. Like, oh, like, yeah. like, everyone in this town was like, oh, fuck, if only I ever got to bang Bodley. <laughs> like, <laughs> she's so attractive. So attractive. But, yeah, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, a roll between the, the book pages with Bodley. <laughs> <laughs> to be subsumed in her, in her fluffy ruff. Uh, <laughs> wow. And Bodley is a woman of her word, yes. You shall have your library card, my dears. A lovely little library card filled with all Bodley's love. Mm. Oh, no. This, you can't fill a library card with love. Like, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> You're free to browse my bookie wookies. Lucky, lucky you. Hmm? I think the reason we were after her books was we wanted something that would help us I don't know. learn about not being wary. Yeah. All the knowledge in the world sleeps on these shelves. Yes, all of it. And now it is yours to wallow in, to bathe in, to slather all over your little mind. <laughs> Fuck, man, I can't <laughs> deal with you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. Are we, we done with Bodley? Yes. <laughs> Let's split up and take a look around. We need to find information that will help us with our kingdom. I like that Roland has no voice because he's fucking dull ass. <laughs> <laughs> but he's been to Yale, so, you know, he's ready to help you out with some knowledge. Dull, dull Yale knowledge. Sorry, Yale folks. I'm going to hunt down some books about the nations I'm of the world sorry. and their histories. If people have actually watching this have gone to Yale... Then Fuck. they've got enough of a step up in life that we can insult the shit out of them. What are you doing here? Why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, anybody can listen to a let's watch let's play, but I'm just saying. How'd you get here? They they can <laughs> hack it. They can hack it. They can hack it. But how'd you how'd you, how'd you get here? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> maybe like the search algorithm because we talk about Yale so oh. much. Was like, yeah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Graduates yell. Will definitely enjoy watching this. All right. I think I have ever actually been like, like, like in the description oh, talked yeah. about Roland as Yale. So, oh, awesome. You know. Okay. I should just tag every single one of these as, as Yale. Yale. Okay. See what happens. Um. <laughs> all right. Let us know if you find anything interesting, won't you? That was it. All right. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <gasps> so many books. Okay. Leaf? No. No, leaf book, fuck, you, fuck leaf off. Book. You don't own us. <laughs> Is that a book? Okay. Can I just. Yes. There's a book entitled Broadleaf A Guide. Would you like to read it? Sure. Absolutely. Let me add it. A kingdom at the cutting edge, located in the centre of Autumnia, Broadleaf is one of the world's newest nations. Once just a tiny settlement hidden in a dense forest, zip vectors, inventions and business, business savvy have turned it into the world's most techno technically advanced kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> I really wanted that to be technologically. Bastion, uh, its kingmaker, is said to be more concerned with self-improvement than protect protecting his realm. Well, that sounds like a great person to attack and take over. <laughs> we're not against war, but we're we're gonna war at you until we take. Wow! Look, hang on. I we're I solving all our problems through war. Yeah. At this point. No, no. I've I've just understood. Uh, Evan's strategy, and that is to war upon everybody, take it all over, and once we own everybody, there's no more war. This is what the British used to think. Yeah, because they're fuckheads. <laughs> and so I'm on to Evan. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I see what you're saying, you're on to him. All of Broadleaf's institutions are situated in the giant tower known as the Treehouse, which is also the headquarters of Broadleaf Incorporated. The kingdom was founded on a rich seam of magical ore, the intensive mining and exploitation of which fueled its explosive development, but also caused the local sorry, local environment to become terribly polluted. 
Practical technology for all. Several conflicts have taken place between the people of Broadleaf and the local monsters over control of the region's resources, and tensions remain high to this day. Many bandits and monsters attacked the treehouse during its construction, but they proved no match for Broadleaf's advanced weaponry. These battles were an excellent showcase for the company's wares. Okay, so that's one book done. Hey, what you found, man? Is it in front of you? The book is entitled Ding Dong Dell, A Guide. Yeah. Would you like to read it? Mm. Yes, we would. So, Ding Dong Dell. A kingdom steeped in history and tradition. Ding Dong Dell is a kingdom situated in the northern part of the Summerlands. Grimalkin, Mousekind, and humans have coexisted there <gasps> We're a mouse person! We were asking that a while ago. We were like, what kind of creature are we? We're like, we've got these little cat ears and a tail, but we don't have a cat face. We're a mouse person! person. Okay. It has the longest history of any of the world's nations, thanks in no small part to the unwavering protection of its kingmaker, the noble Oakenheart. Dead. <laughs> the cats and mice of Ding Dong Dell have a long history of animosity. Indeed, according to one account, there was once a war between them that lasted several centuries. Oh, was it the mice people who took over? Oh, yeah, no, it's the, no, we're not a mouse person. We're a, we're cat, a person. cat person. But we don't have a cat face. Yeah, because. Fuck, Unlike we all the other cat people. Maybe we're half. Maybe we're half human. Half oh, that's cat. a disturbing thought. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Some even claim that the uh, mouse singers, a famous mouse clan, were driven into the sewers while the Grimalkin oppressors lived peaceful lives above ground. The local humans try to avoid becoming involved in this conflict and give politics a wide berth. The um, mouse singers were the ones that took over. Yeah. Recent tumult. The Tildrums who had ruled over Dung Dung, Dung Dale for generations until the premature death of King Leonhard had put his young son Evan on the throne. The mice saw an opportunity, staged a coup, and drove the boy king out of the country. Tensions in the kingdom have run high ever since. Grimalkin are not allowed to leave, and only those who have been granted special permission may now visit. When was this book written? Like two seconds ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. They have a great like like uh, research department, like publications coming out sort of weekly. Yeah, maybe it's a journal, not a book. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was only three pages, so you know, it, it's it basically reason. just news. It's just news. <laughs> There's a book entitled Allegoria, a guide. Would you like to read it? Apparently this episode's just going to be called Going to the Library. Um, <laughs> <laughs> reading lots of books. Um, Sexy long... library card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Full of all her lovey wavy Lusty, lusty library. <laughs> oh, <Anyway>. no. <laughs> lusty, lavicious library. Oh. <laughs> Um, a long-lost magical kingdom. Allegoria was a large kingdom that once stood on the content continent of Nazca. <laughs> its kingmaker was known as the Horned One and was possessed of a great power and great volatility. Doloran, Allegoria's last king, was unable to control this fearsome creature, and his kingdom and the land on which it stood were lost. It was said to be a beautiful, peaceful place, but no trace of it remains. That's an interesting concept to control your kingmaker, because I don't think we control Lofty. He's just our pal. Yeah, but it's not like he's Fearsome. difficult to control. No, that's true. That's true. Uh, but we saw with... Oh, was there not a second page on that? I don't think so. Um, oh, actually, there could be. No, okay. Um... Like we saw with the the fiery guy, he was like hard for that person to control. And oh he went, yeah, he went out of control and attacked us. There's a book entitled Hydropolis: A Guide. Ah, uh, an ocean kingdom governed by strict rules. Hydropolis is a maritime kingdom comprising several islands known collectively as the Hydropelago. Ah. The population is mostly made up of humans and merfolk, and fishing <laughs> dominates the economy, with its fresh seafood dishes being highly regarded. Ryan Skimmer, the nation's kingmaker, lives beneath the sea and is really seen. Queen Nera, the ruler of Hydropolis, has decreed a number of activities to be strictly forbidden. Furthermore, tourists and merchants from overseas are forced to pay punitive taxes, meaning that although the kingdom is a beautiful and fascinating place, it seldom receives any visitors. 
Many locals object to these draconian rules, and though local officials do their best to suppress this dissatisfaction, it has yet to be fully quelled. Interesting. A battle for supremacy. Humans and merfolk now coexist peacefully in Hydropolis, but this was not always the case. Land and sea battles between the two races once raged for a period of several decades. The fighting did not come to an end until the human was able to overcome Brian Skimmer's brutal trial and form a king's bond with him. Yeah. So the the kingmaker is a mer-ish creature, but the king is a, well, the king at the time was a human. I guess so. There's a book entitled Goldpaw, A Guide. Would you like to read it? Sure. A kingdom where all is left to luck. Goldpaw is a large kingdom situated in the southern part of the Summerlands. The local population is dominated by dog folk. In Goldpaw, everything is left to chance. Even the tax rate is determined by the roll of a dice. Longfang, the local kingmaker, is held in high esteem on account of his reputation as a bringer of good fortune. Gambling is part of day-to-day -day life in Goldpaw, and its state-operated casino is also popular, popular with visitors to the kingdom. Fortune-telling is also highly prized, and the local people tend to consult the stars in times of confusion or distress. As a result, the leader of Goldpaw, otherwise known as the Grand High Roller, has tended to have a, quite a talent for clairvoyance. Master Pugnacious is the current High Roller, and Poophead. <laughs> a beacon of regional peace. The port of Capstain upon Hull is considered part of Goldpaw for administrative purposes. We haven't been there. No, we haven't. Goldpaw once sought to gain control over other settlements in the, on the Ida Downs. <laughs> Cute. That's great. Uh, but their attempts were repelled in a series of bloody battles. These scars have long since healed, however, not least because many people from the provinces have since moved to Goldpaw in search of fortune. Oh. All right. I think that's about as much as I need to know for now. Okay. I can't believe there's already stuff in here about a coup over in Ding Dong Dell. This place is more up to date than it looks. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> like, if, like if we just acknowledge it, it won't be as weird. <laughs> I better catch up with the others and figure out what to do next. Okay. That's another. Oh, it's just. Hi, Evan. It's a secret book. Have you finished checking everything, Roland? All right, let's go and find the others. Oh, don't make me pack them up. All right. <laughs> I want more people for our crew. All right. I was just about to say, like, I almost wish they'd made us go, like, collect everyone. All right, come here. Let's meet at the table. Fuck, Tani, where are you going? Like, no, okay, okay, now I've got you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> just like made it excessively complicated yeah, yeah and you know it's like hurting cats where people are like yeah yeah I'll be there and then they're like ooh he's a candy and, <laughs> and then, then like somewhat like you get one person to go and sit get in the meeting room and then they're there by themselves for a while yeah and then they just leave because they're waiting for everybody else they're like I better go and find someone I think if, like am I even in the right room and yeah there all of that okay so alright I think I read up on the history of pretty much every major nation in your world you read six books. This place sure has it seen its fair share of wars, though I guess that's true of my world too. But if has this he stuff... even told them that he's from another world? <laughs> I don't know. Imagine if he hadn't, <laughs> and everyone was just like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> like, Roland, you've had a stroke. <laughs> But if this stuff is anything to go by, the only way to steer clear of all the fighting would be to have no contact whatsoever ever with any other country, period. I think he has. I think he's told... Sorry. I think he's told um, Neville. Okay. Nong, long bottom. <laughs> That's good. Lingy, lingy pants. Little <laughs> oh, baby no. king. Oh, no. Evan. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I... Uh, taint precisely the jolliest of conclusions, but it sounds about right to me. Hmm. Roland, I've been thinking. What if we could unite the world? I did the whole untie the world thing. Same. Yeah. <laughs> if our world were one big I'm country. I'm onto you, you little oh shit. I'm onto you. <laughs> He's the fucking Brits. He thinks he's King Arthur. Um, 
<laughs> I'm so on to him! Well, there would be no one to fight, would there? Evan? You Stop it. Don't <laughs> don't do it. Let's not go down this road. This is this is how tyrants come into being. Yeah. Oh, Tiny, no. Uh, this is why you don't let children This is why you don't let children <laughs> dictate foreign policy. <laughs> oh, that's that's an amazing idea. You're a genius. Uh, yeah, but be the sense, sense, like yeah, voice please, of reason. Adults, adults in the room. Sure, unite the world, and there'd be no one left to fight. That would certainly put an end to war. Roland, has Yale taught you nothing? Ah. But look at these books. Read what they're saying. Nobody in history has ever come close to doing what you're proposing. Cause it's it's just like totally wild. What the fuck? And it's like culturally <coughs> impossible. You can't <laughs> have homogeny. <laughs> oh, bodily. Oh no. What's she going to suggest? I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, yes, they have. Yes. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Mama can't look at me like I can't, that. I, can't, I don't even want to be in the same room as you. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ferdinand. Mighty Ferdinand. Yes. Wrote a great treaty, Declaration of Interdependence. Got them all to sign it. Great big countries, teeny weeny countries, all of them, yes. He was a hero, my hero, so handsome. She banged him hard. Why she is she telling us the this story? Into the mattress, because she's a thousand years old and she was there. <laughs> she taught him new uses for his sword. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Amazing, so someone has done it before. Huh? But I just read every history book in here. None of them so much as mentioned his name. She banged him so hard she wiped him out of existence. <laughs> oh my goodness. Of course not. It's top secret. Only special people know. Hmm? King Ferdinand. All right, everyone. Let's head back home and decide what we're going to do next. We need to talk about more about this banner of ours. Okay, so we're gonna go home and foster our little dictator. Oh. So that's it. I mean, he wants a dictatorship, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, if I'm in charge of everyone, then the world would be better. And my my like my vision of what the world should be. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm sure that's what, like, the leaders in... Here we go, got friends, as we go through. A certain country that shall not be named. Uh, yes, yeah, that one. All right, all right, all right. And then you push it again for the trip to a map. Oh, not options. Not options, even though it says options. Okay, all yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. What's question mark, question mark, question mark? <laughs> Wasn't there before, so maybe we'll have something new now. Um, maybe. Okay, so throne room, which is here. Do we have any... It's too late. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, my kitty is so purry. She's very happy. I'd like to start talking things over right away, but you have kingly duties to attend to. Oh, do we? Why don't you catch up with things here before you come and, uh, here and come and speak with me when you're done? Maybe he's just got to give um, even like a million tasks to like distract him from his dictator um, <laughs> ideas, uh, ambitions. And um, and then like he'll just grow out of it. No, maybe, maybe. Anyway. Oh no! Is this is that really the story of this game? We're going to go around and unite all of the cities. Is that I really game? hope that's not the story. Oh my goodness! Really? <laughs> Sit on your magic chair. Sit on your magic chair. We need to do kingly things. We do. You're right. I just imagine Evan sitting oh, on his chair. Oh, look at how much money we got. Oh, yeah. Let's take yeah, that. Blah, nice. oh. blah. Okay. We really should figure out what the fuck is going on with our place. We've got more citizens. Look. Oh, that'll be, um... All these people Long at the bottom. Long Gao Jia. So how do I assign? Do I have to go to the facility? Does it tell us who, who they're good with? Uh... Sort? Information? No. Oh, we can see. So fighting. Yeah. Right. Fight. So military. Swordy swords. Military. 
military. And uh, well, actually, she's got she's got uh oh what is that magic magic researchy something magic. Yeah. So okay. let's do some assigning. Because that's what you do with the people that we have. So that's a fighty fight. Hang on, let's look for that. This one here, we need someone else on anyway, right? Yep. I'm going to go all the way down because I think... I just want to see. Yeah, okay. cool. So We might be able to build something new with all our money. I don't really know how anything works here. If that influence? Is that influence? Yeah. We spend that? I'm going to chuck her on here, though. Yep. Oh, I didn't want to jump there. Well, you need to. And then you got to put her on there. Oh my goodness, this is convoluted. Yeah. Cool. All right. Then we'll go to... No, go back. Let's look at out the facilities. We know that both of them were good with the fighty fights. Yeah. So I guess they both go on there for now? Yeah. Well, nobody's actually on the... Um... Yeah, these guys are Ooh, all full. Ooh, facility level two. We can't put anyone else on until... Complete research. So let's do that. And then maybe we'll bump up to level two. Uh, efficient weapon development. Ooh. Ooh. Not Was that like to... nothing? <laughs> yeah. Research. How do we level it up? New research topics and extra personnel slots. Cost 4,000 kg. We don't have it. No. Okay. Um, how, how much more, um, how much more awesome, like, comparatively, in terms of the numbers there? Yeah. Were any of those new people better than Chungus or Kumbush? Well, one was 55, so hang on. Yes. Should put them on there. There you go. Yeah. And he was 75. Do you want to leave him on there long enough to level up, though? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I was what was... Just... And the other guy, I think... One of those guys Wait. was... Um... I just took the money. Did you just get, like, $2? 98 Okay. Oh, okay. Um... One of those guys was like okay-ish at like the axes and there's nobody on the axes thing at the moment. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. You're right. Um, axes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hi. Personnel. Yeah, that'll do. Better than nowhere, right? Yeah. Cool. Uh, so, but before I could overall look at the like, it just seems to be like all the research. Oh, that's handy. So, you have to so, go to each individual thing. Yeah, so I figured we may as well do something. Quality weapon, top, you know? Yeah. What a. That's cheap, so we may as well do it. 150 kg. Sure. Do we even. Like, is, is the armor that we have already better, so we should make level 2? So it'll just let me do it. Oh, that's a uh, stupid. Oh, no, no, what? No. Why can't we do it? No, not like you. Okay. Fine. Okay. That's fine. Let me make something else then. This. Can I make that? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice. All right. And I'll just see if there's anything else. On the cards to make. Armour. We didn't get into that We can't do that with anything at the moment. I feel like oh, possibly yeah, yeah. doing going to the actual place is possibly more helpful than going... I <sighs> okay, whatever. Oh, she's reached the end of her tolerance with that. I have. I want to see if we can build another thing. Though. No, but I have to go back to the throne. I think you can do it either way. Oh, can you? Yeah. It was like, but now you're just fucking around. <laughs> Now you're just flapping around like a fucking idiot. I'm gonna take my 68 money. Yeah, we Wait. made $68 in that time. Um. Uh. So facilities. And then from here, you're like, check it out. What can I get from the workshop? You know, that sort of thing, right? right but we're already making something there. I see. He's not. 
We don't have enough to do it, but the higglery! Yeah, let's go there. Complete! Nice. <laughs> cook great higglies for less. Oh, that's creepy that you have to cook them to create them. It's gross. Yes. Yes, it is creepy. We're going to... So we've done the first, let's do the second. Right? Sure, like uh, it uses money too, so... Yeah, but I'm not fussed about that, are you? Yeah, I mean, I I'm, I'm happy to, it's just like it just means we might not be able to get something else for a okay, while. Okay, well how about... All. And we're not super, like we're not super invested in the Higgledies, are we? They're great! Well then let's do I that. I love them, because you don't have to do anything and they just do cool shit. Okay. What I want to know though is like, are there any cool facilities that we can build? Even if we can't build them right now, I I'm kind of curious, like... Hey. Uh, <laughs> I love that you're like, a dollar. <laughs> Give me that dollar. I want it right now. Okay, so, um, like that. What can you be? Barracks? Can be a barracks, but we don't want another one of those. Do we yeah. already have a barracks? Do we? Do we? Is that what that is? Oh, I thought that's what that was. No, I think it's something new. How research methods and to help in skirmishes. Mm, can we see what the other options are? That's gathering ore. Underwater crystals and prisms. That is a research item gathering. Expand your stores. Here we have gather bones, furs, feathers, and leather. Gather meat, dairy products, and eggs. Gather grains and vegetables. Okay. So on the side, we have fish, uh, fish seafood, shells, and corals. Gather ingredients, cloth, thread, cotton, string, and buttons. Uh, gather lumber, res resins, and fungi. Get better battle rewards, research, and medicines. Hmm. Well, I think we should do the barracks if we can afford it, because that's like a basic useful for everything, right? Yeah. Although we don't have any people to the, fill it right now. Uh, the, the guy we just put on the thing can fill it. This guy. Oh yeah. I'm pretty sure he can fill it, but I think he's... I think. Remove Help square. boost work at the barracks. Great! <laughs> Neat! Suitable. Oh, and Gal, Gal. Look, 112. That's cool. Um, we can grab on? him too. Where is he? Apparently. He is at the armory. Oh, he's in the middle of something. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll come back to him and research. Advanced shock tactics. More might. Do that. Okay. Nice. Right. Okay. Happy with that? Hey, we did some some city management everybody yeah, we, we did we don't really fully know what we're doing but hey we hey. we uh got some stuff and Isa gathered up every coin that she could find on the street <laughs> <laughs> just like stared momo down as well as like i'm doing <laughs> like, it <laughs> i don't care okay, i do what i want to pirate to free <laughs> roland and then that might be enough are you ready to get the show on the road yes fuck hurry up where is the plot in this fucking game all right i'll go around everybody up oh my gosh is it's 10 o'clock i know we're gonna get you home roland wait there's a few things i'd like to speak with you about first are you actually an alien? <laughs> right. I need to know you're on board with my uh, dictator Plan idea. for total world domination. <laughs> Let's begin, shall we? I've gathered you all here to speak about our nation's banner. The cause we mean to unite under and to work toward together. What a whole sentence from Roland. voices. Evan proposes that we create a country without war. I'd like to talk about the concrete measures we'll need to take in order for that to happen. This is like being at work for me. I know. Well, yeah, not, not me so much, but yeah. Yeah. My new job is about strategy, you guys. First and foremost, and this is what I we'll do need to day. sign a treaty with the other major nations of the world. I mean, effectively this. forming a single united realm. Hey, at least they want a treaty rather than, like, we want to just 
attack them, take over their country, and then they'll be one of us. Yeah. I mean, that might be about what he's about to say after this. But yeah, but I was gonna be like, yeah, but we had Tetariti here, and then like uh, all the Pakeha were like, yeah, let's just kind of tread all over the fuck over that. Yeah, let's just take all your stuff. Yeah. Anyway, we propose to call this treaty the Declaration of Interdependence. Are you, do, you, are you, do you feel smart for coming up with that, Roland? Do you feel good about that? I mean, uh, Bodley came up with it. Did he? Oh, fuck. I thought Roland did. I was like, but, yeah, but, but you, like, you got oh. you to know that Roland's like, yeah, it's a fucking pun. Yeah. It's a pun about America. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken the liberty of drawing up a preliminary version. You cede everything to our son here. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> the declaration will be our banner, the cause for which we fight. I like it. Ugh, but won't that dollar an idiot be trying to mess things up in other countries, like he did in Goldpool? Oh, the creepy shade guy. Oh, dollar and but he was from one we of the other towns. I think that's highly likely, yes. But we can't worry about that right now. All we can do is visit each nation in turn and try to convince them to sign up. With our swords. You're really thinking of doing this? You realize it's a fool's errand now, don't you? What do you mean? <laughs> Where did he come from? <laughs> He's been there the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> As I was pointing. just pointing at the uh, the Yoda guy. What's his name? I don't remember. Scottish that. man. Yeah. I, I was like, what? Where is... <laughs> he just popped into sure, the room. Sure, this plan of yours is a noble one and a fine banner for an up-and-coming kingdom to unite under. I I vote. I beg to differ. What? What? But you're about as likely to get all the nations of the world to sign your little pact as I am to grow a third blasted leg. Hey, Don't say thanks that. for being realistic. We can do this. Can you? Did Since America the succeed in that when you were America man? Where? Don't you be putting these daft ideas in their heads. The boss is the only voice of reason here. Well, yeah. Apparently. What would you know about running a country, huh? Well, what? He is the leader of his. Stop his people, it. actually, Roland, you <sighs> fucking white boy piece of crap. I don't know if we can do this, but it doesn't matter. I want to do it anyway. Okay. You what now? Why is a child in charge? I've realised something. Now that we've been to all these places and met all these people... We can take them all over. <laughs> They're weak. <laughs> We're just losing it, you guys. I don't guys. just want to do it for Nella. I want to do it for myself. For all of us. I really do want to make a world where everyone can be happy. Look, the thing wait, is... Wait, wait, wait. Look at... Look at... Look at Lofty. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, like, sometimes lately, I've got a colleague now who talks quite a long time. Like, they're, they're one of those people who needs to vocalise their ideas, right? That's fine. But they will go on and on and on and on, and I, I feel myself, like, my, my mind just drifting away. I do that to my colleague as well. Yeah, and, like, that's what Lofty's doing right now. He's like, yes, I'm still here, but in his mind, he's like... I'm gone. I'm, I, I'm thinking I, about dinner. If, yeah, I want <laughs> to make the fish sticks for dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I, so question for you because this is what I do like I zone out and I realise I'm staring blankly at the table and yeah. not and paying literally no attention to this person yeah. and then I like zone back in and I'm like I'm here yeah. and I'm like did they notice and they fucking haven't yeah. does yours do the same Yeah. they don't notice that you're zoning out yeah I'm like looking at the wall and, and uh, yeah because you it's know amazing. in the conversation like you're making eye contact you're like mm, back in, you might have a bit of back and forth you're like you know it's a conversation it's not they're just you may as well be a wall. Yeah. That it's they're talking about. It's a waterfall at. of information they are providing. So, you. yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. That's what he's doing. I don't care if we might not succeed. That's no reason to give up. That's right. Of course, 
It won't be easy getting all of the countries of the world to sign our agreement. We'll have to use swords to make them do it. <laughs> Or our, or our lusty wiles. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we can call on Bodley's thoughtness. <laughs> yes. But if there's even a chance of success, I have to try. We just promised them a night with Bodley in the library and there'll be a putty <laughs> in our hands. <laughs> and I'll need all of your help to do it. <sighs> How can a man say no to such a speech, lad? I'm with you, Your Majesty. Come what may. Better start with an easy one first, eh? I reckon gold Paul sign up, man. Haven't I'm... they already done that? Yeah, provided Pugnacious isn't the grudge-bearing type. Good. Then it's decided. We will unify the world. Just as Ferdinand once did. Ferdinand, no, who we only know exists because of some random. <laughs> Bodily. Like. Yeah! Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't even know what words to use to describe it. Do you know what's hilarious? What is so fucking funny about what? this? And why I think I'm taking the shit out of it so much? Why? It's because it was just literally the last episode where I was like, I'm on to you, Evan. And I'm like, I was fucking joking. <laughs> I was joking, and then this happened, and yeah. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's the level of it. And so now my suspicion is, no, no, no. And then I said, we were going to go around it. The story is just going to be us uniting the kingdoms. Here it is. Yeah. Man, you guys, we're really going to struggle to keep playing this game. Oh, I'm just, I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I mean, it's fun, but it's just. Look, we'll, we'll keep going. It's a push. But honestly, I don't think I don't think it's going to be a terribly long game, so we can we can do this. Well, I mean, didn't we look up look it up and it was like an eighty-hour game to finish or something? But that's if you're playing all the content. We're yeah. just going to play the main storyline because fuck it. And I'm having fun doing our fucking terrible voices. And quite whoa, she just phased it out. Yeah, phased out really. there. Um, I genuinely like your voice for Lofty better than the. Oh no! Don't yeah, say I do. That. I do. I do. It's so bad. Yeah, and it's better than this one. Uh, anyway, so okay. Well, um, hey, that's I hope that. You, I hope you all had fun. I hope you had fun with our town building and. Um, uh, I, I, did did you see the storyline coming? Did you, is this what you thought it was going to be? What do you reckon? What what do you think's going on? What there? do you like for any of you who haven't watched or played this before? What do you think the story is going to be? Let's all see if we can predict it. Pretty much pace for pace, because it's so predictable that we all know what's going to happen. There's going to be like, we're going to take over, we're going to make an alliance. Each place that we go to is going to be like, why should we trust you? You have to prove yourself to us. It'll give us like a semi-impossible task. We'll achieve it. And then at some point along the way, with possibly possibly even each city that we go to, uh, what's-his-face evil guy will interfere in some way. Ooh. We'll reveal him and he'll be like, damn you. Then we'll have to fight another... Um, you know, the kingmaker of yeah, each, yeah, yeah. each place. And then at the end, everyone will be like, hey, Evan, we love you so much. And it'll turn out that Lofty is actually like the most powerful kingmaker of all. Because of the power of love. Because it's like, psych, he was actually really good this whole time. Yeah. You know what? That's all good. Let's get into <laughs> it. <laughs> Uh, let's see if there are any surprises ahead of us in the episodes to come. Oh, oh, uh, I was going to say, people, so that was what, that's our prediction, right? Uh, throw out the wildest surprises you think might come up. Yes! That would be my... Yes! Yeah. Oh, yes, do that! Like, Lofty's actually a unicorn. Okay, I'm going to say uh, Evan... Evan's... Not actually a cat person at all? It's just it's just, just the head piece all yeah, this time. Yeah, this whole time. Roland's just having a fever dream. Roland's definitely just having a fever dream. <laughs> yeah. He's like irradiated in a hospital somewhere. Oh. And, and having, he's dying. Having this dream. He's he's flitting in and out of, in and out of consciousness. Oh, it's just I, I feel like out. I feel like there's something got to happen. Like the the blue boy in our dreams. What do we think the blue boy is? Oh yeah. Okay, so yeah, give us give us your most wild uh suppositions. 
Pre- right word? Presuppositions. Presuppositions. Uh, estimations. Estimations. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah, that's more fun. All right. Let's go. Uh, I hope you all have a lovely evening um, and to drive home safe. Cut the episode <laughs> in as it keeps trying to finish it better than I am. See you next time. Bye. Bye.